Hey everyone, stay, right now standing outside Steel City Comet, Steel City Comics and Games. I can talk here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, right at the corner of Second Avenue and West Broad Street. <coughs> For anyone who's familiar with the with this general, with this area with Bethlehem, with Bethlehem in general, is Steel City Comics and Games is at, directly at the site of Dreams of the iconic Dreamscape Comics here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, which was a true part, Dreamscape was a true part of the history of here in Bethlehem, uh, especially, you know, West Broad, historic section, <coughs> section, etc. I stopped in because, I've been, you know, the way I find cool places is just by walking, we're in by walking past. So I stopped in, and the first thing that I, real, that I caught my attention is that the they do a, a truly fantastic and amazing job here of maintaining a very, an excellent balance of everything. Now, by balance of everything, I mean that you walk in, there's plenty of space to walk around. You know, you're not trying to jam in between like two, like three, three and a half feet wide aisles, you know, to look at, to look at things. And also, it's one room. You walk in, you see tables there. Tables, if you know anything about comics, game, uh, games, etc., is for your tabletop gaming, such as even uh, such as dungeon. I found out I found out some really cool things, by the way, talking talking to the mainly the one gentleman there. Um, the that tabletop games such as Dungeons and Dragons. The minute, the miniatures game. My lady wife and I used to love to play that. She would kick my ass at it every time. Um, you know, even your card games such as such as Magic the Gathering uh, to play. To you know, that's what the tables are for. Now, the other part of the excellent balance that I truly love about this place is that they have a good, a very well presented kind of sample, if you will, or small section. Of several different areas of game of gaming and comics. Along the, along, when you walk in, along the left wall is your main section for the comics. They don't have it overloaded. Looks like they have a they, like they have a great combination of current titles as well as back issues. Then they also have um, at the main counter. You see your Magic the Gathering. Uh, I didn't even notice this until the gentleman pointed out, until it was pointed out to me, where as you walk in, if you look to the left and your right in the glass, you see a lot of figures from the Dungeons and Dra Dragons miniatures game, where, you know, you buy the figures, you have a map, you know, and you play them, play it. Very cool game, but can be very expensive very quick, by the way. <coughs> uh, you know, so right off what i love what i truly loved about this i walked in and i was like wow i love the, the way this place is laid out no joke is the excellent balance of space space and item present item presentation and good combination of variety so that scores excellent very high marks with me right off um, another thing i loved about this is the service I walked in, didn't, you know, didn't tell him, to my usual, didn't tell him I was with the media or anything. Had a great long conversation with some, with the gentleman who, who was working there. You know, asked, fired off several questions, point where I'm surprised he didn't kick me out for an annoyance factor. But he was very cool, very professional, very friendly. Um, you know, asked about games like Hero Clicks that I, that we would play 10, 12, you know, 12, 14 years ago. Um, you know, just you know, mentioned about the comics, covered several different areas with him, had knowledge of everything, including something that a lot of people don't may, or may not remember, the very short-lived, because I believe the creator or the writer died, one of the two, uh, he, Kindred the Embrace, which is which I looked on the on the shelf of the books for games, I saw Vampire the Masquerade and Werewolf the Apocalypse from the old White, White Wolf back, kind of around 2K to to roughly, I think it was 2010, I think, somewhere in there. Um, asked him about that. Just, you know, spent spend time in there. Got a really good, real good feel for the place. <coughs> now, also behind the counter, 
you will see in, in the glass cases and behind the counter video games and yes no joke dating all the way back to Atari 2600 I saw that I couldn't believe it I'm like damn <coughs> excuse me dry mouth y'all you know, and he told me he said they have did I think it was two times a month I apologize you have to please check the Facebook page for the schedule they magic the gathering tournaments and once a month they have video game tournaments which is really cool because it gives you, no matter what your preference, no matter what you're into as far as gaming, this place gives you great escape both in both this reality and the virtual one. So, if you're in the area, if you're into gaming, so this is, I found out there's a couple other places around. But I believe there's only a total of like maybe five places here in the Lehigh Valley that sell, that do comics and comics and or game and or comics and gaming. Steel City is definitely one. Great location, um, just overall great balance, great variety, very now, very, very knowledgeable staff. Even going back to, like I said, my bloody wife and I used to play things like Yu-Gi-Oh, got my ass kicked, Magic Gathering, got my ass kicked. I mean, that is a high compliment to her, believe me. Um, you know, so, you know, the knowledge of the, of the history of several games, um, you know, the current knowledge, the information that, that was provided above excellent on the customer service. So definitely stop by still, and by the way, the reason, one of the main reasons why I do the video articles is hopefully, as you're listening to me drone on and on and on, you are clicking on the link and checking out and finding out more information about whatever the topic is. In this case, it's about Steel City. So, please, definitely check them out, their Facebook page out, their website. And if you're in the area and into gaming or comic books, or you kind of were into them a long time ago, or, you know, just curious about them, make sure you definitely stop by and get, stop by, say hello, check, check them out, give them a serious check out, and also, don't forget to support them and make a purchase, even if it's something real cheap like a a game dice or something as a souvenir. Thank you, everybody. Please go. And speaking of supporting, please go to the magazine. Thanks to the sponsors page. Without those people and businesses, nothing. They, I couldn't have made it through five years of doing media between two magazines. To everybody out there for all the support you give to the magazine, thank you so much. Without you, there'd be no point to it. Gorgeous weather, mid 80s out here. I just saw 86, 86 on digital thermometer. Take some time out, enjoy life with your family, friends, take some time out for yourself.